You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. We're joined in the studio with um, the Lost Salvadores. Uh, welcome along to the show. I was wondering if you could both sort of introduce yourself and also tell us a little bit about the history of the band to kind of get us started. I'm Gareth from uh, from Lost Salvadores. Um, I sing. Um, I've uh, been in the band since it since it started. Uh, it's about. Five or five or six years now. Seven years. Seven years. Just coming oh. into our eighth year. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, uh, we're a lot older than we think we are. We're, we're kept a lot younger though because we we tend to get rid of members every now and then and bring in like uh, young adults to to lower the average age of the band, which uh, <laughs> works quite well. But um, Gareth forgot to mention that he does also play Glockenspiel in the band now. <laughs> Occasionally. But um, it's kind yeah. of like playing triangle, that isn't it? Glockenspiel. <laughs> Slightly more technical. I'm not very good at it either. That's the uh, shocking thing. But um, so yeah, sorry. I'm Marf. I play <laughs> I play guitar and do backing vocals in Los Salvadores. Um, the band started in 2004, I think. So like I said, we're coming back into our, or coming into our eighth year now. Um, to start with, we was very, very loose. I think is we it, were is we were more a kind of collective, I guess. Yeah. Right. Just um, whoever uh, we had a, a kind of little pool of musicians and people who were who were playing with us, and um, it was all very. Uh, it was much more a punk band than a folk band. It's always been a folk punk band, but it back then it was more punk, and now it's uh, it's pretty much a pure folk band now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how did you come to uh, choose your name? It was. Obviously, back then we realised that because we were quite slack in every way, being in Los Salvadores at the beginning, it was kind of a sort of a tongue-in-cheek reference because it, it, the Spanish translation is the saviors, and we thought at the time we really, really weren't the saviors of you know of music. So at the time it was it was just a bit of a laugh. Really, we didn't know how how long the band would be together, and it was just but it just kind of stuck. Could you tell us? Um what instruments do you play? Um, we're a four-piece at the moment. Um, we've, uh, as I say, I, I sing and uh, Marth plays guitar and uh, also does backing vocals. We've also got um, two girls in the band. Uh, Vicky uh, plays French horn and uh, Hannah plays violin and both of them sing as well, so we've got four-part harmonies and things like that. Um, but uh, through the years we've had loads and loads of different instruments you know we used to be sort of fully electric sort of back in the day and um we used to have you know electric guitars and bass and uh we've had just really like weird things like um we had saxophone saxophone we had yeah <laughs> mandolin was in there yeah we're, we're actually um quite close to getting our dream move yeah. soon with a, a cello player joining fingers crossed so yeah we're, we're always open to to different instruments and change and things. So. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, we're talking to a cello a cello player right now, and uh, that'd be really really good to just sort of round it out nicely. Now we're going to play one of your uh, tracks, but before we play it, could you uh, tell our listeners a little bit about it? Um, this is uh, a song called "The Plunderer." This is um, about how uh, the lineup of the band has changed and. Um, the different reasons people have had for, for coming and going over the years. At the moment, uh, I'm talking to a local band, uh, the Los Salvadores, here at BRFM on the Monday Night Community Show the uh, this evening. So, um, what have you been doing throughout um, 2011, last year? Uh, we had quite an interesting and busy year, I think, last year. Right at the beginning of 2011, we had our our last lineup change, I think, yeah. recorded lineup change. We had a, a drummer and bassist that both left around the same time so the beginning of 2000 was really sort of honing our sound as a four piece and sort of reworking some of the songs to so that nothing really lacked that percussive sort of element um shortly after that though, we we managed to get it together quite quickly i think we we went into the studio in march and recorded three songs ep we released which that the plunderer was from um and yeah, busy summer again, festivals. We tend to play most gigs throughout the summer now. We seem to gravitate towards festivals. I think they're the way forward for us. There are, there are uh, probably hundreds of, of folk festivals up and down the country, and so we, 
we sort of spend our summers kind of driving driving around and um, and playing at these these various festivals. And it was it was really good good year last uh, last year. We did some some great places, played in some great places. Uh, Wessex was particularly yeah, good. We did um, Sweeps Festival in Manchester, which was good as well. Yeah, and of course the festivals closer to home as well. Um, and uh, I was going to say, I see you at uh, Artists in the Woods last year. I think that was last year, wasn't it? Yeah, yes, last that summer. Was, yeah. That was a really good day, actually. Really <coughs> lucky with the weather that day, but it was nice to see so many sort of um, local people involved in the arts, you know, sculptures and mm. wood turning and, you know, poetry, ever, everything there. It was really, really interesting. Yeah. Day. Yeah. We like to play things that are a bit, you know, a bit different as opposed to just pub gigs all the time. So it's, it's good. So, uh, what are your plans for 2012? Um, first thing, I think we're gonna. Well, at the moment, we're getting a lot more festival bookings just coming in for for this summer. So that's looking like we're gonna be, like Gareth said earlier, flitting off all over the country again, spending all our money on petrol to get to these places. <laughs> and, but playing some really, really nice places. But um, the main thing I think this year is finishing off our. Our album, which, as this lineup, is you know, in effect our debut album, I suppose, and we're quite looking forward to getting that done. So just one more studio trip, and then I think uh, we'll be ready to go. We've been doing the um, the album because it's so expensive to to get um, professional recording done. We've been doing it in sessions, so uh, it's going to be a total of um, three sessions. We've all, we've done it at the same recording studio, but we've been doing that over the last uh, it's going to be about a year's worth of recording yeah. sessions I think but we wanted to bring out something that was you know substantial and had a, a lot of songs on it and um, we're going to look at getting the artwork and things like that sorted out as well so it's a really nice nice package um, the other thing we're, we're doing is uh, we've, we've started a, a promotions company um, and uh, kind of record label perhaps further down the line and um, it's called the Gunpowder Works after the um, Gunpowder Works in Faversham. Right. And we're going to use that to put out our album and um, just promote us and uh, other other Kent bands that we we work with. Um, at the moment, it's mainly a promotions company, so we're um, we're kind of mission is to to put on gigs, like interesting gigs. Um, in just unusual places, so people go and see kind of beautiful music in a in beautiful surroundings. So we've so far we've had a a Kent um, a Thames a Thames sailing barge. We've had a gig on 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 the Edith May in uh, Lower Halstow, and that went really really well. That sold out within a couple of weeks, and yeah. um, that was just an amazing night. Really, it just the the combination of music and the setting created this amazing atmosphere. And it was a, a great, great show all round, and um, that's just something we're looking to replicate with some other places as well. So yeah, we've been looking into every, all local stuff, so so in Kent, but so we've been looking at uh, old military bases and um, tunnel complexes, caves, and more boats and buses and things like that <laughs> to try and you know so give people an interesting night out rather than just ending up down the pub again doing the same sort of thing all the time so you can expect some uh, interesting interesting gigs from promoted by the gunpowder works hopefully next uh, over the next few months yeah and hopefully bringing in some more established folk acts from around the country to give you know local folk acts a chance to play with some some bigger established acts. yeah we're, we're going to look at getting some really big names down and um yeah just just putting them on as well and we've had some uh, quite a lot of interest from from those as well so uh, it's, it should be a really good year it's going to be busy but uh, great fun now we're going to play another one of your um, tracks I was wondering again if you could tell our listeners a little bit about it before we play it this is called Mistress of Distress and the Incredible Shrinking Man which I think is quite possibly the longest song title in the world um, but this, the whole EP that this is on is more or less about the time of change that the band was in and development um, so yeah, another song about the band situation. At the moment we're talking to the um, Los Salvadores, the uh, local band, and uh, I know we're next going to talk about your um, February Kent um, theatre tour. Yes. I didn't know who was going to answer that one, me or you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's promoted by the Gunpowder Works, which Gareth just spoke about, and it's the, the second sort of event that we've put on after 
the Edith May barge gig we did last year. But it's uh, like a mini tour, so we hired three local theatres and chose three local bands, including us, obviously. Um, so there's there's Los Salvador's Wheels from uh, Medway and Canterbury, who are a great sort of almost psychedelic folk band. So as in uh, the Flowing from Medway, who are sort of a more broken down um, kind of acoustic, bluesy acoustic mm-hmm. edge, yeah. Um, but yeah, again, it's going back to the gunpowder work sort of ethos and theories to put on interesting events for people. Um, so the first one is actually on the Isle of Sheppey on Thursday the 2nd of February at the Sheppey Little Theatre in Merrick Road. I remember that one, didn't I? That was good. Um, but the tickets for each, each night is £5. You can get them on uh, the Los Salvadores website or on the door on the night as well. Um, or through the Gunpowder Works website, which is yep. www thegunpowderworks.co.uk yeah um, so, but yeah it's a, th- it's a three night thing so the first one's on the Isle of Sheppey it's 2nd of February Friday the 3rd is at the Avenue Theatre in Sissingbourne um, and the, the Saturday one is a bit further away but it's at the Tom Thumb Theatre in Cliftonville uh, just outside Margate and apparently that's meant to be the uh, the Tom Thumb is meant to be the smallest theatre smallest working theatre in the country yeah. is that true? It, well I think it kind of is but I did find one in Wolverhampton that is a converted public convenience and it's called the Theatre of Small Convenience I think or something like that and it's got 12 seats Why are you looking at theatres in Wolverhampton? I was (laughs) was kind of searching for What inspired you to do that particular Google search? (laughs) No I was just looking for small theatres obviously because I I got interested when I saw how small the Tom Thumb one was and I just wanted to Uh. see if there was really anything smaller but the Tom Thumb Theatre's only got 50 seats but it's it's all about you know using the community um, I've um, I've lost for words now. Yeah, just 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 <laughs> getting get, you know, doing these the, these gigs in um you know, in the in the community theatres and and you know making sure they get get used and used for yeah. for different things. Um, and um, yeah, if you if you like to if you want to see some of Kent's um sort of best modern folk, uh, yeah, come come and get a ticket. And uh, now before you go, I was just wondering if you could. Um, Refresh our listeners with all your uh, contact details so they can find out more about you. We have got a website for the band, which is lossalvadores.co.uk. And if you can't spell that, you can go onto Google and type in Kent Folk Band, and then you'll see our... I think it's about third or fourth down, you'll see us on there. Um, And we're Twitter accounts as well, which is at Los Salvadores. And we're on Facebook, so if you search for us on there, you'll find that. And we've got a YouTube channel as well with some very silly videos on it. (laughs) Um, yeah, that's it, I think, for the contact. Now, before you um, go, we're going to play out um, another one of your tracks. I was just wondering if you could tell us uh, a little bit about it. Um, this is the, the last song on the EP that we released. Um, and as the other two songs were more sort of about the despair and changing motif, what generally goes on in the band, this was more about um, sort of the recovery of the band and sort of finally getting into the light at the end of the tunnel phase and all coming good in the end. Now, before we play that, I'd just like to thank you very much for uh, coming along this evening and telling us all about your band and uh, also giving us a chance to hear some of your tracks as well. Thank you very much for well, Thank us. you very much, Daniel.